Hello again, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements in part five, very part basic training for Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now, quite often when you're working with photos and cleaning up photos, one of the things you have to do is remove things you don't want in the picture. Now, these things can be small, they can be medium sized and they can be large. And there are various tools for doing or for removing each of those elements. Removing small things is very, very easy. I'm going to zoom in on this photo by using Control Plus. You can use Command Plus on a Mac. And you see that when we get to this close up of this little boy's face, that he's got a little scar or he's actually got a little scab on his nose. And we want to remove that. There's a great tool over here on the toolbar on the left. It's the spot healing brush. If you click on that, if it's not available, if you see the healing brush instead of the spot healing brush, you want to make sure you got the spot healing brush by going down to the tool options bin underneath the picture. So that's the band-aid with the little circle around it. Now the spot healing brush works fairly automatically. In fact, if you look off to the right in the tool options bin, you see you have proximity mask, create texture. Make sure that content aware is selected because that will make a natch, much more natural blend as we remove our object. So circle is a paintbrush for painting over the flaw or the bug or the blemish. And we can use again, bracket open and bracket close to make that larger and smaller. We'll make it just about, just about the same size as that little blemish. And then it's as simple as just dragging across it. When I drag across it and let go, look what the program does. It used content aware fill. In other words, it used the photo imagery around that object to fill it in very naturally. That's great for removing small objects from photos. But what about larger objects? So for instance, I have over here to the little boy's right, I have a sidewalk with some grass in it. I'm going to back off just a little bit using control minus. I got a sidewalk with some grass in it. I'd like to remove that grass. Now, if I go over to, again, select the spot healing brush, I can switch it going to tool options to the healing brush. Make that brush a little larger using my bracket closed key. And the healing brush works a little more like the clone tool. It's going to borrow imagery from someplace else in the picture and paste it in to fill in or to clean up an area. So with the healing tool selected, I'm going to find a spot that I want to borrow imagery from. I'm just going to borrow imagery from further up this, this crack in the sidewalk. Hold down the Alt or Option key and then click on the spot that I want to borrow the image from right up here. Then once I've done that, when I come back down toward the grassy area, you notice that it gives me a preview of what the imagery is going to look like when I paste it in. So I'm going to try to line up that crack in the sidewalk the whole way down. I'll click and hold and paint. And that should get rid of the grass here on the sidewalk. So it's pretty cool, huh? Borrowing imagery from one spot and using it to paint over another spot. So that's the way you get rid of medium sized objects. But we have one more object. I'm going to control zero so we can see the whole picture. Look what's in the background of my beautiful picture of this little boy is a garbage can. And I want to remove that garbage can. Fortunately, there is a guided edit for removing the garbage can. If I go to guided edits in the top center of the program again, and I go to basics, there is an option here for object removal. Isn't that cool? I can actually remove objects from uh, my background or from my picture. Once again, as with all guided edits, it walks you through the process and the panel bin on the right. It's going to ask me to select a brush in this particular case, and I'm just gonna paint over the trash can. That's the thing I wanna remove. You don't have to be real precise, but you do need to cover the entire trash can. And then if I scroll down a little bit on the panel options bin, I can have the option of removing the object. So I click that. And just like magic, the garbage can is gone. Now I'm going to zoom in on that area a little bit. Control plus, command plus, and then I'm going to hold down the space bar. That gives me a hand tool for dragging the photo into position. Let go of that space bar. Now you notice where it removed the garbage can. It left some wrinkles here in the sidewalk, which don't look natural. Let's paint over those. You notice if you look at the panel bin on the right, 
and we scroll down we have a clone stamp tool clone stamp tool is going to borrow imagery from one part of the picture and paste it into or paint it into another part once again i'm going to make that paintbrush a little bigger using the bracket closed key i'm going to borrow some imagery from a little further up the sidewalk once again holding down the alt or the option button and then clicking so that option or that alt click and then all i need to do is just if I can do it in a straight line, it should paint that up pretty nicely. Let's get rid of that too. And when I zoom back using Control Zero or Command Zero, now if you were an expert at Photoshop, you could probably take a look at this picture and see that that's been clone stamp removed from the uh, photo. On the other hand, as far as I'm concerned, that's a pretty good looking photo. We removed the small object, removed the medium sized object from the picture, and we even removed the big ugly trash can from the background. I think we've got a pretty successful picture. So. Don't be afraid to use guided edits. Guided edits often incorporate a number of tools in the program, but that spot healing brush and the healing brush, those are a great set of tools to get to know and uh, great for removing unwanted objects from your pictures.